Welcome back to my more important analysis videos on Friday, 14th of October, with me, which pair market analyst at Antic Market. So I'm going to look at my FX trade of the year instruments. Now we've got sterling, dollar, Kiwi, dollar, Euro, sterling, Euro, Aussie, dollar, Rand, FTSE 100, WTI oil, and Coco. So let's get into FTS, uh, the sterling. Continues to sort of trade under depressed um, outlook. Really, uh, you've got a slight interesting development here. I've sort of kept it out zoomed because or zoomed out because 61.8 percent fib projection of this um of the original brexit sell-off measured from the rebound high comes in at uh, 121.10 area and that is holding interestingly in the last few days actually around that sort of level so that could be an area of support that the market is looking out for. Now, this is the hourly chart where you get more of an indication of how the market is moving. That 23.30 resistance came in um, a couple of days ago, has now been added to at 120, um, 122.70, which is sort of this uh, basis of resistance. I mean, in, initially, it's sort of I, I spoke yesterday about 122.60. That was minorly broken to the upside 122.70, but then reversed. And uh, it seems as though it's sort of you're getting this sequence again of lower highs. But I mean, you could even argue, really, that the market is almost consolidating in the last few days. It's not really going anywhere. Um, again, it, it it's sort of it is lower today, yes. Um, but again, it's not really sort of on, on certainly on the um, on the chart basis anyway. You, you're not really getting much um, sort of traction. Um, although, yes, we are sort of 60 odd ticks lower on the day um, that whilst that support at uh, 2130 is intact I think that uh, you could even argue it's a range play but you would certainly be selling into strength still I don't really think I don't really see how you could be uh, buying this one at the moment because I think the market is still so negative on sterling that it's likely to be pulling it lower and uh, the uh, the market even on the hourly chart is now trading below all the moving averages so that again gives you a bearish sort of tilt to the analysis but You'd still say, looking at this, the sort of market is sort of holding up above 40, which is a basically where it's been sitting for the last few days on the RSI, on the hourly. And if you're seeing a, an outlook like that, you'd say it's more of a sort of a range play. So just bear that in mind. And also the MACD line is not really excessively bearish. Um, I mean, they are falling, but only just turning lower. And the stochastics have actually just turned up. So it's n it's not a hugely bearish outlook at the moment on sterling, even though, yes, we are falling today, um, sort of 60 odd ticks, I think. And uh, it is, um, it is yes, a negative outlook, but not hugely and um, whilst that 21.30 support is intact, I think that uh, that is interesting. Anyway, uh, moving on to Kiwi dollar. Kiwi dollar has started to recover a bit and it actually is forming higher lows. Um, you're starting to see a bit of a turnaround. If I show you on the daily chart. You've actually seen a couple of candles in a row. You could even argue that's a bull uh, hammer of sorts, really, on the daily chart. Rallying from 30 on the RSI. This momentum indicator is trying to tick higher. So it's interesting that we've sort of started to pick up a bit. Um, is this a, a bit of a recovery? I'd still say it's going to be sold into probably in the, some stage in the coming days, but maybe at the near term, very near term, you could see a recovery. And the hourly chart is looking a bit more positive as well so you'd you'd be certainly looking for that 75 70 75 support to hold uh, you've got a m arguably a higher one at 70 90 as well so these levels could suggest that you might retest the 71 30 and then up towards the rebound high at a 72 big figure euro sterling your sterling is again similar to sterling uh, on the cable trade um, in the fact that it's basically consolidating. It's not really doing a huge amount in terms of direction at the moment. You've got the sort of support that comes in an 89.95 area above the 89.63 support, but again, momentum indicator is pretty neutral, not really showing a great deal of direction. You'd say that you'd need a sort of breakout back above 90.67 to really gain the traction, but again, it's sort of fallen over a bit. Weakness of the euro is sort of coming in at the same time as weakness of sterling so that's holding it neutral euro aussie has a, um ooh, it's broken down quite sharply in the last 
few hours and uh, that is certainly now suggesting that we're going to retest that low um, that comes in from August 44.15 that's broken decisively down today looks like lower highs lower lows looks like it's going to be sort of pulling towards those supports from uh, from the summer so that uh, 45 sorry 44.15 support that uh, looks pretty negative on the daily chart and also the hourly chart rallies are a chance to sell in on an intraday basis you'd say that um, 45.15 to 45.30 is an area of resistance to look out for in a rebound today dollar rand it's sort of consolidating um you could argue that it's it's not really going anywhere uh it's sort of a slight sort of sequence of lower highs but it, then again it's it found support above the uh reaction low at um 14808 so 14 big figure but um it's uh, it's interesting that uh it is sort of finding that finding that support and uh, it is it is in a slightly corrective mode, you can argue, but again, it's not really excessively be, um, sort of corrective. And I ultimately think it's likely to be bought into because these these sort of breakout levels of 14 to 14.08, I think are interesting. 14.10 being the support. So between 14 figure 14.10, you've got good support. And I think you could see it that bought into. Looking at FTSE. Now, FTSE is broken back above sorry dot footsie footsie's broken back above 7000 now that is a strong strong recovery really um because that let me just show you that um 6928 on this hourly chart a sort of series of highs between 6928 and 6955 in uh in august and september and they were sort of the basis of support those old breakout highs become sort of old old resistance becomes new support and again that uh pretty much to the tick held at uh, 69.30, rallied sharply today, turning around, um, looking positive back above 7,000. If you see a close above 7,000, you're sort of back into a more positive mindset and you might even sort of try and sort of regain a bit of initiative to retest sort of 79.65 area with that rebound higher that we saw on the 12th. But uh, certainly at the moment, it's a bit of a mixed outlook on, f on FTSE. Um, and uh, trading above 7,000 is more positive, though. Um, and uh, certainly holding on to that 69.30 support is positive. WTI oil has regained the initiative once more to the upside. Nicely uh, pulling higher. That uh, support held 49.15 I was talking about yesterday. That uh, reaction low that we saw last Friday. And that held uh, in the correction um, yesterday that this candle here was the EIA or in inventories report candle 4936 and then re regain the initiative to the upside so it's uh, looking like it's going to retest 5117 which is that rebound higher but um, 5167 is the key high that is uh, that is the key high and that could be tested C C C1 is copper sorry um, cocoa as my final chart and it's again, it's just started to turn around a bit. You had a positive candle, really positive candle yesterday. Uh, and it seems to be that it could start to engage a bit of a recovery. But look at these series of trading throughout August, September and into October. Con a consistent sort of sell off and then minor recovery, sell off, minor recovery, sell off, minor recovery, sell off. Minor recovery, maybe now back towards that... Um, falling 21 day moving average maybe it's a 28 big figure area but I, th I think you've got si significant overhead resistance 2708 and 2755 2760 uh, I think is the uh, key resistance coming in overhead so I think that you're likely to see a little rally sold into but um, now for now near term you've seen a little bit of a recovery mode you could measure that little bit little small near term base target 7690 up from 76.25 was that 65 ticks again that would be uh, 26 sorry 27.55 that would put you into this re resistance area here so i wish you good luck in your trading today and i will speak to you later thank you